It's always struck me as odd that evil is never self-aware. I mean, the most horrendous actions, these conglomerate endeavors of warring cabals, are caused by the best intentions. So, all that's left is this grand suspicion of idiocy. Good intentions are moot under the control of a ludicrously stupid idea. But, my contribution is hardly an appropriate contrast. I would like to argue that my contribution is non-existent, and thus superior to their negative impact. But, the truth is, we're all infinitely terrible for not contributing at all. Be it through neutrality or detriment. Perhaps I should kill myself. <laughs> it's a rather funny thought, actually. 
The standard reason for suicide entails depression. A sad portrait of a weak mind. But my desire for death is far more utilitarian. I feel as though I am useless. And I, and I gather that this feeling is similar to what the others have felt. I do not suppose that any of them felt any particular brand of gloom before the end. Just a single shade of grey. At any rate, I prefer this situation to its emotional alternative. We Minotaurs are only different in that we're honest. We see what our species has become. We see the disease. And we see that there's no cure. What, then, hmm? Should I linger until I grow old and die? Affecting nothing and assuming the role of sewage? No. I'm beginning to feel as though the only honorable route is a swift end. Time has changed from an agent of death to an agent of cleanliness, wiping away existence like some sort of cosmic and crematory disposal. And I best incinerate myself before the universe is forced to deal with me through age. I don't know why we exist in self-destroying structure. We all share a fondness for that which is correct, and we're all certain that we have it. But there must be a way for that loyalty to flourish without burning the last shreds of coexistence between our species. That is, a species that is primarily defined by its diversity. I don't know if I'm arrogant for assuming that my desire for progress is any indication of my task as a catalyst. But I tried to find Tarshish already. Only in my attempted escape did you find me. And I do not believe that you found me without reason.
These dreams act as mirrors, like passive portraits of the complexities of the human mind. They paint self, just as ideas paint the universe. Dreams truly are the most honest form of introspection, even if I can only use them as an escape. I actually knew the man who lived here. I believe his name was Solomon, though he insisted that the matter was irrelevant. During the few times we spoke, he seemed ungrateful to the point of mental masochism. He, <laughs> he would consistently act as though you have somehow maliciously trapped him within your confines uh, to limit what can be done with the outside. <laughs> I, of course, know you better. You and I have a special relationship. It's true, my world is by no means ideal, and to say this is to admit to having an ideal at all, but that ideal is far beyond my reach. I dream of worlds where humanity ceases to fight over what they're certain of, but those worlds are not a reality. Truth must be compatible with itself, 